What's up, y'all? This is episode eight of the podcast of Three Stooges Podcast, number one podcast in the state of Virginia. Don't Google that. I'm Traven. I'm Henry. Yo, what's up? I'm Christian. And uh, you know how we do this. Uh, we're going to start off with the music suggestions, and it's you know it's been uh, almost two weeks of music coming out, um, music and albums. But for me, my suggestions are Aries, his songs "Race Car" and "Blossom." Rich Brian song history. Keith Ape put out an album called Born Again. Uh, Shrimp put out a song called Live for Tomorrow. Joji put out he, he put out his album um, Ballads One. Um, Zilla Kami and Sauce Mula put out a their collab album. Uh, oh, I didn't know they had that. They put out their collab album City More Volume One Hell or High Water. Uh, Lil Yachty put out his his fire album Nothing to Prove. Matt Ox. Bro, Matt Ox. Matt Ox. Album is that, that album is a, a Bro, good album. <laughs> That's heard, a goat. I don't think I heard all the songs, but like Jet Lag, with Cheeky. Yeah. Right <laughs> that album is good, though. Like, like the I, other like, one, Ride Around or some shit. Yeah, like Planet of Planet. Bro, like, so good. Planet of Over. Comethazine's new song, that video that dropped last night. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot what it was called. But nah, that shit. Though. Vince Ben Stables put out an album called, or EP called FM. It's an album? It's an album? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause it's only like eleven songs. I don't know. Um, but y'all suggestions? Uh, Mick Jenkins. He dropped his album. It's called Pieces of a Man. That album's really good. And the and also Action Bronson. His album's good. Oh, so that Comethazine song is called High Rise. High Rise. Yeah. I'm waiting for him to put out the. Um, oh yeah. The second joint. Bosky Two. Bosky Two. Yeah. Yeah, it's just fun. Uh, Netflix suggestions. Ozark, y'all gotta watch Ozark. Is that bro. good? Really? Yeah, bro, it's got it's got two seasons. Don't I just spoil the it, but one. just tell us what it is. It's basically a, a dude um, laundering money for the Mexican cartel, mm-hmm. and then his family finds out his two kids and his wife, and then they move away, and they have to like find out ways to launder money, and they're just like doing a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, I've seen that on there, but I never. Um, I like it. It's pretty good. From my suggestions are Big Mouth season two. And, and I haven't seen Big Mouth. Big Mouth's a good show. It's a funny show. Uh, Mr. Bean's Holiday and Mr. Bean Movie. It, those are they're funny to me. Fun fact: the actor Rowan Atkinson, he has the same birthday as me. <laughs> That's sick, man. Yeah. Um, and now we're gonna get into some other some. You don't have any Netflix suggestions, Henry? No. No. Oh, wow. Okay. It is kind of hard to pick something. Yeah. Like yeah. This <laughs> Don't watch Netflix all the time. So, um, we're gonna talk about why Ariana Grande uh, stopped the ma- engagement with Pete Davidson. It's because um, apparently or allegedly, oh, I didn't know that. Allegedly, um, Pete was sending pictures to Mac Miller. Yeah. Like not not like pictures of them like oh. you know hugging and stuff like some yeah. some. Damn, I bet she was pissed. <laughs> yeah, she was. Um, what's next? Oh yeah, the let's talk about the. Did y'all see the BET award show? Mm-hmm. No. It was all right. It's just gotten. It's not. It's gotten not that. I don't want to say it's not that good, but it's just gotten boring. Because when they when they like not first started it, but like back in like 2010 and stuff, like 12 and all that. Mm-hmm. That's when it was really good. Cause I mean, I forgot what year it was where they had the TDE cipher with Kendrick Lamar and all of them. Yeah, that was the best cipher they had, and then like this year it was, uh, YBN Corday. Yeah, I think I saw his little his freestyle cipher. His, uh, uh, cipher. Not the sniper, the sniper. <laughs> <laughs> he was sniping people left and right, Christian. You got that boat action. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, nah, but his his cipher was good. Um, who else? Oh yeah, um, casting over two times. His cipher was good. Or his freestyle. Let's talk about. Vic Mensa and his cipher. He uh, Vic Mensa. <laughs> I mean, I seen the name, but I don't know. He was he's the guy that talked about X. I used to like in a bad way, but he's just kind of gone. He's downhill. yeah. I mean, I used to, like I listened to his like old albums and mixtapes and stuff. Tape. Internet that one tape. Was really good. Um, the biography one, autobiography. Yeah, that's good. Um, that little EP he did. You know what I'm talking about. It's like the cover is him, but as like one of those shooting things. Yeah, I don't know. Target. Hmm? A target. Oh, yeah, a Target. If I can find it real quick. But, no, nah, but Vic Mensa, he, um, 
he was trying to put he was trying to put out a message of like abusers like hip like your favorite rapper and he like your favorite rapper is an abuser type thing like he beats women or something like that yeah. like he should have just went on with the message of like don't you know don't abuse women and stuff like that but in the cipher he said that but then he said X's name mm-hmm. and his mom was at the award show when mm-hmm. it happened and like you know X fans and X fans and peep fans are I don't want I don't know what I want to th- I'm just gonna say sensitive because I can't think of another word but it's just like they were threatening him and stuff and da 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 and it was just back and forth Kid Trunks and uh Kid Trunks and yeah, they were like, thre- they were like wanting to fight him or something. Tank head. Tank head. Yeah, tank head. <laughs> wanting to fight him. Of course, tank head. Wanted they to fight dropped him. a diss song on it. Oh yeah, I seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Yeah, they dropped a diss song. It wasn't really a good diss it's song. Not, yeah, it's not even a diss song, but it's I like the cover of it though. Yeah. And the title. The title, yeah. But like, um, then, yeah, cause there's a lot of. I mean, I know how. Like, you know, y'all know how fans are with some stuff. Like, like I mean. Uh, Anthony Fantano talked about it in one of his Let's Argue videos where somebody was like you can't you know just it was like you can't praise your favorite artist or something like that without them without you thinking they didn't do anything wrong in their whole entire life or something like that like I know I'm paraphrasing it no, yeah, yeah, but it's like it's like separating the art from the yeah because another example of that is uh, John Lennon like everybody sees him as this peaceful guy and stuff but like in some research I did some research on him and he like used to beat his wife and stuff like that yeah. and like behind the scenes because that's the thing with some people I'm not I mean I'm just saying in general like some people are like that like you think you know them but you don't like you think you know them how like how you hang out with them and stuff but you don't know them behind the scenes type thing yeah yeah and it's just like because everybody I mean I'm not you know it was just something like that even though Pitchfork edited the audio. I didn't know that. They aud- they edited the audio because he it was like because Pitchfork put out put out the you know the the audio of him saying I hit her and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like somebody did some you know some YouTuber I forget his name. Sorry if I don't get his name, but he put out, he like actually did the research and stuff and found the actual audio not footage but audio of him talking. He's like he was like saying he didn't hit her and stuff like that. Like he, like it wasn't. You can tell it wasn't. It it wasn't edited. Yeah. And it was just like, it was just saying pitchfork. You know, edited it, edited the audio to make it sound like he did say it. And it was just, it was pretty. I mean, I didn't because Twitter was Twitter and you know social media was making a big fuss about it, but I just was looking behind the looking. I was I was I was just observing all. Cause I don't, I don't like to, I'm, a, I don't like to do that stuff. I don't like to put my, I don't like to put my opinion and stuff out there for certain things. You like a broader perspective. Yeah, sort of type thing. Cause then, cause this is YouTuber or animator named um, oh, Chris O'Neill. Um, he said, he said, he said something like, whatever you put on the internet or whatever you, whatever your opinion is on the internet, that's what people think of you, type of thing. Yeah. But back on to the uh, BET Awards, Lil Wayne got like the the Icon Award thing. Yeah. And that was good. But then they decided to put DJ Khaled as the introduction to give him that award, and he would not shut up. That's funny. Dude. Like, <laughs> like it was it was Bun B and DJ Khaled, and they were just talking about how Lil Wayne was or is as a person and as a rapper. Yeah. And then DJ Khaled had to go off on the freaking monologue about Lil Wayne, which is fine, but it was just like it was he was going too he was going on about it. Like Bun B was sitting there like, Okay, we can stop talking now. <laughs> like we got I mean this show hasn't has a, has a time. That's funny. But everybody knows how DJ Khaled is. D- and I don't know if y'all saw that video on Instagram of him doing a trying to crowd surf. 
No. DJ Khaled? Yes. <laughs> I think it was oh, at a Travis no. thing was with Travis Scott. Travis Scott was performing and then DJ Khaled was like getting all hyped up and stuff. That's and then he jumped in the crowd. Right and he, it, it looked like he was like they was like trying to hold him up, but he was just like falling on the floor like he was like falling like Quality slowly dude, going down. Dude. I don't know. Um What's another thing? Uh oh yeah. Quavo People thought Quavo was dissing, dissing Lil Peep. Yeah, I don't think he. He wasn't because I mean, he. he it about sounded it. like it though. It sounded like it, but it he was just like he was talking it. about anything. No, he really it just made like, it sound like out of general, context. Yeah, out of context. Because people, people, that's that's the thing. People like taking stuff out of context now. Well, like, it's just like if you listen to the song and you're not listening to a Quavo song yeah. and expecting to like take a, a meaning out of it, mm-hmm. so people were just listening to it just. At like face value, not like trying to or like, think about what he was talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, or like people listen to lyrics and try to look for like a diss now. Yeah, or something or like, like that. Like a name drop and then pretend yeah. to be diss. Like oh, they they're talking about him. You see, they're talking about you, bro. Like no, or people. I mean, I I I, t- I said the wrong word. Context. I mean, like people don't look. People don't see two sides of stuff. They yeah. always, they always want to go with whatever that person's saying. You know. Yeah. So instead of like for that. For like the the peep the Quavo and Peep thing, I was just like sitting it out and watching, like observing, you know, watching people and see what they say, because Peep fans were like, they weren't threat, uh, they weren't really threatening uh, Quavo, but it was just like, they were like, why would you say that about Peep, this, that, and that, and then Quavo went on the radio, I forgot what radio show he went on, but he was like, it was no disrespect to Peep or anything like and that. And on his Twitter. Yeah, and he was just saying we, I don't diss no, I don't diss no mamas, no nobody, family like that. Like Quavo said, he don't diss no fam, nobody like that. But it was just like he wasn't dissing them; he was just making a like a general statement of rappers, certain rappers. Did not. you see that? That yeah. dude waited until the light went red and then <laughs> went so the cop couldn't get through, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, um, Kid Boo. Kid Boo. Fuck um, Kid Boo, bro. <laughs> I don't wanna, know who that is, except for from the freaking nah, video of him saying he cloned himself. He didn't clone himself. He's just bullshit. He said, uh, look, same hair, same tattoos, it's my clone. Your clone wouldn't... Like, the clone would the not clone have would tattoos. Ha- yeah, the clone would not have the tattoos. Are you talking about that live video where it's like yeah. both of yeah. them sitting next to him? That's an edit. They weren't interacting with each other at all. I, know, I think that's two different shots tattoos. and they put it together. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's what happened. If you got cloned, you wouldn't they, have tattoos. True. The same and he was like, if they were like actually sitting next to each other, they'd be interacting. They weren't interacting no. at yeah. all. That's some, that's some editing stuff he did where he put like a he did like a half shot of him yeah. and him walking in again. Yeah, and he was like, oh, looking at himself, like, yeah, <laughs> like shut the fuck up. Like he's trying, he's like clout chasing really bad. Yeah. Like he's and he's like thirty, isn't he? Like old. Also, he's like he's like a pedo or something, right? Like, yeah, he, he got he charged like, in like two thousand ten. Yeah, yeah. And, um, he's trying to like cover up his. He been trying. He was like trying to get clout from Adam Twenty Two as well. I never even heard his music. Like he was like he tried Me to. Neither. I never like, heard any nobody heard his music. It. I don't have heard his music either. But like Adam Twenty Two, he was on the Jumper Live one time, and he was just talking about how Kid Boo tried to steal his cat, <laughs> like he legit tried, like he tried to steal the cat, his cat, that's that's in the store all the time, yeah. and was just like asking about it and stuff, and then tried to take it. I saw that thumbnail. I didn't think he was actually serious. Though. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> oh my god. It was. I was like, why? Like nobody. That's the chillest cat ever. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if anybody actually listens to his music, but. It's just not for me. No, not for me. Either. Well, like I don't even hear his music, but just his image and his energy is not for me. No, <laughs> it's it's just he's like a little pump wannabe. Yeah, did y'all see? Did y'all see little pump on Halloween? Dude, yeah. you look crazy. And bro. Did you see him at him at him at Adam Twenty Two? He was like, he's like this is some good weed. Oh, yeah, he was at the weed store. Yeah, so. he was, I was like watching Ski Mask's uh, Instagram story on Instagram mm-hmm. on Halloween. I mean. And he was with, like, Adam-22 and Lil Pump and, like, a bunch of other people. And he just, like, put, like, a sequence of videos of, like, all the different people, like, dancing to a random song. <laughs> Damn. And yeah. they were in, like, a private bus or something. Yeah, Lil Mayo had, like, a whole, had, like, a big Halloween party. I don't know who that is. That alien? alien. The alien Oh, thing? yeah, Lil Mayo. Yeah, he had, like a, like, a legit party, which is crazy. Has he, like, revealed who the person is behind it? Mm, no. Probably like somewhere. Yeah. Bitch, you know why? Because I'm selling it to you, fuck, nigga. <laughs> 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 Dude, 
two ounces for twelve hundred. That's <laughs> that's very expensive. Two ounces should run you around like four hundred, three hundred. Oh. Oh, yeah, Adam twenty two dressed up as um Eminem, like old. Oh yeah, he was some shit. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Except he doesn't have hair, so he just like painted his head yellow. No, he he has like I'm, hair, but it's yeah, just like it's just it's just like his hair's just like, like shaven hair. <laughs> Oh yeah, Halloween was Wednesday, so yeah. how did y'all spend time on Halloween? I didn't do much. I was working, and then I caught the pumpkin whistling and watching a movie. And shit. I went nice. to go to this party, mm-hmm. but it was huge, and it was packed, and I couldn't get in, so I just bounced. Well, whose party was it? I don't know. It was in downtown. I was trying to go to parties, but it was I was huge. Find them. Mm-hmm. It was like too much people in one house. Yeah, I believe. But I, uh, you know, I just did the old, you know, laid in my bed and watched YouTube all night or all day. That's what I did after this. Yeah. No, but that's what I did, and I played some 2K and some Madden. And then, you know, I, uh, I was trying to hurry up before No Nut November started. <laughs> oh my god. That's today. Oh, that was started yesterday. <laughs> People are actually, I mean, people are, it's a meme, but people are actually taking it. I thought it's, it's No Shave November. Not it's, no, it is no it's, it's No Shave November as well, but people, but the meme community, <laughs> the meme community sees it as No Nut November, or you don't, you know. Apparently that's a good thing, uh, like, to, like, do that is, because, like, I don't know, like, retains energy and it's, like, good for your body, like, um, like, the ancient Egyptians used to do it. And apparently you can fix your eyesight. Like, if you fast for, like, a couple of days and drink juices and don't ejaculate <laughs> for, like, 30 days, it fixes your eyesight. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what people are seeing this, this month for, as those reasons, not just, you know. Just oh. because it rhymes. Yeah. Or it sounds catchy. It's a, what's it called, alliteration? Yeah. No Nut November. <laughs> you know, but there is, they, they do have coupons. For what? To ask fifty percent off a nut. <laughs> no, it's like a free nut, and you won't get you won't get like disqualified from from it. You won't get disqualified well, that's from it. It's not a real thing, that's anyway. It is a real thing. That's People are taking it that's serious. An internet meme. I got two coupons. Who wants one? <laughs> it's legit. I mean, I don't know if y'all saw my post that I posted. No. Y'all. I mean, I probably did, but I don't. You probably didn't 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 like it. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, but um, it's just this is the, this is the coupon. Oh my god, that's not real though. It is real. Who used that? That's cheating. That's not cheating. It has. It is. It. What if you just don't delete the coupon? You just say you didn't use it yet. Well, the. Or if you just like screenshot it and now you got two. Yeah, exactly. That's what people did. They screenshot it. That's so cheating. <laughs> that's not you cheating. You just screenshot it thirty times and then you're nothing every day in November. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true as well. <laughs> oh my god. Next week, uh. And now you're gonna be deprived of energy because <laughs> you're not in every day. Next week, Tuesday, is, uh, election day, ain't it? Yeah. For even, like, what? For what even? <laughs> it's for, like. It's not just elections. It's like, uh. Is it for, like, go- it's like it's voting for on, like, governor. local like rules and stuff? Local shit. It's for, like, um. Senators or House of Representatives. Senator, I think. Oh well, yeah, still go out there and vote. But yeah, it's voting for, for like local rules and stuff too. It's not just. Where's the um weed one I can vote on? I vote for that. It's in there somewhere. They, I don't think it's in the ballot. <laughs> It'll be suck. in there. It'll be in there sometime in the next couple of years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I meant to say for the music suggestions. Um, Flatbush Zombies put out a song called New World Order. Yeah. They put a video out I yesterday. It. It's okay. good. I'll check it out. Um. Oh, so the other thing that happened a couple weekends ago, um, the Jehovah Witness stopped by. <laughs> they always do that because my dad decided to open the door and, st- and talk to him. So now they keep sending pan- like pa- pamphlets. That's funny. <laughs> like it's annoying after a while because my dad was one time. My dad was just like, "Don't open the door" or something like that, or don't. Just, just grab the pamphlet and go on. And then one day, I was at home by myself, and they showed up. Bro, they've never come by my house. I think they went to my door like once. 
Well, I mean, the other thing is, like, my dad gave them, my dad gave them, like, my, one of our old, like, lawnmowers. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess because it was just sitting in our yard, and they would say they'll fix it or something and keep it. But, I don't know. I, I wasn't there for that. But, it's just, now they just come by, they come by all the time and hand out pamphlets, and then the other day, they, like, handed me a pan. I was at the house by myself, and... I don't. I'm not. I don't want to be rude and not open the door. I wouldn't open it. I know you wouldn't, but I don't even answer my phone. With I'm just. A, I'm just the type of per. I'm just the type of person that, if I do something bad, I kind of feel bad for, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. That type of thing. But um, yeah. So I opened the door, and it was the same guy that comes by all the time, and he handed me the pamphlet or paper or whatever, the booklet, and then. They were just, like, it was him and some other, some girl, and they were like, you know, because I woke up late, too, and it was just like, it's, uh, it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of late for you to be waking up late, and it was like, you should, it was like, uh, yes, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, I kind of, kind of slept in late. I work in the night time, <laughs> that's what you should have said. Yeah, I work at night, so, uh, I don't really get up as often, no, nah, but, um, I told him, yeah, I was like, yeah, I work, I, I was, not work, but I was, I, I was, I slept late. And I was like, he was like, you go to school? I was like, yeah, I go to school at uh, J. Sergeant Reynolds. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh. He was like, you know, he, he was just like, and it was like, if you know how they have like, they go through each, like a certain chapter or part of like the what the Jehovah yeah. Witness Bible or whatever. Yeah. Like, I guess it was good timing for them because that was something like that was like getting up and doing stuff or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but it was just like part of it. And uh, they were like, they were read. He was like, "You mind? You don't mind me reading a a, a verse from from this book?" Do you? I was like, "No, go ahead." Like, you, like you know how you have a face when you look outside and it's bright outside, or you have that yeah. face when it's bright outside. I was just like, "Go ahead, go ahead." And he just read that verse, and she had a book as well, and she went to that verse as well and mm-hmm. was reading it too. Like, I know you've heard that verse a thousand times. So I guess she didn't want to look. I think just sitting there looking around. I guess yeah. I don't know, but then he was just like telling me this whole this stuff, and I was like, okay. And then it was like, is your dad here? I was like, I was like, no, he went to work because <laughs> I guess they wanted to talk to him. And it was just like, all right. No, it's not working. That you gave up. You didn't even bring it back. <laughs> no, it's just it was. He just decided one day to talk to him, or I guess he was, I guess he was outside. We were outside because we were outside cutting the grass one summer, and I guess they just this they just showed up while we were outside, and he had to stop and get off the lawnmower and go talk to them, and now they just keep coming over. That's annoying. And if we and if none of us are at the house, they'll just like leave it sitting on the porch. <laughs> so, what, how many times did they get yeah, to spread the message? They never came to my house once. Like, did they, I don't know. Did they not give the message right the first time? Why they gotta keep? No, coming it's like, they haven't become a Jehovah's Witness yet. We're gonna keep coming back until they do. It's like um, it's I mean they keep coming back to give out like a a theme or daily. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that verse of their book or Bible or whatever. With different messages. Yeah, <laughs> different messages or whatever. But um, yeah, we're, we're not gonna be Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have birthdays and I want to celebrate holidays. They don't have birthdays? No. Oh what? God. They don't have birthdays or celebrate. They don't celebrate any holiday. That's dumb. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I went to the African American Museum the other, the other weekend too. In D.C.? Yeah. That's cool. It was good. It was just really, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to complain about it, but it was just packed. Yeah, it always is. Yeah. You used to have to like get tickets way out of time. Yeah, it was like because it's. I mean, it's it's nice to it's nice education wise and stuff. Yeah, but um, like Oprah has her own exhibit with like the chairs and cameras from the TV show. That's dope. And you can write like at the end of the exhibit, you can write your name or like a sent write a message and how she impacted you or whatever. Hmm. And then they have this whole thing with like, it's like <clears throat> they have like a whole <clears throat> exhibit or. They have an art exhibit, like just paintings and stuff by artists, like yeah, African American yeah. artists. And then they have, Wiley, like, they have like a... I didn't really look at the names of the artists, but I just looked at all the, the art. The art pieces are really nice. But um, the other exhibit or p- p- piece was um the civil rights. Like there's a whole up, 
like three, two, three floors dedicated to the civil rights movement. Yeah. And then they have a little a little room you can walk in for the um, Emmett Till one. Like they have the casket, but his body's not in there, of course. Yeah. But they have a picture of his like face after what happened. But you can't really see that. It's not like lowered on the ground type of. It's not like where you yeah, can yeah, actually yeah. see it. It's like rose up. Yeah. Cause like, and then like like I'm fine with like the, it's a nice museum, but like some of the people that work there, it's just like they have an attitude or something. Yeah, it's like uh, just a random. I don't even know how would you get the job to work at the Smithsonian. Yeah, but it was just like it was. It was like we were in the Emmett Till. It's like that at all the yeah. Museums. But it was like we were at the Emmett Till. We were in the line to see like the Emmett Till casket and everything, and then like I guess people were like trying to stand on the thing to see if like see the picture or something. Yeah. And the lady was like, like she sounded real like, <laughs> like she was trying to like sound like she had a real attitude with it, but she was like. Like, she was just like, instead of being like, can you, you guys please not stand on it? She was like, don't stand on that. Don't stand on that. I mean, she could probably tell people that all day, every day. Yeah, I mean, I, that's years. that's understandable, but it's just like, I mean, nobody else had a problem with it, but I just had that face like, you work in a museum and you're having an attitude like that. But it's just, I guess they... That's know. her only job. Yeah. I mean, not to... I was just... It was just me. Like, I went to the uh, the National Archives. Mm-hmm. They got guards in like where the room that they keep like the uh, Declaration of Independence and like the Constitution, and it's actually in there. Damn, I never got to see that. They got <laughs> dudes in there with just guns, and you, it's in like super thick glass. You can't even like break it if you try. But oh, if yeah. you even like put your hand on it, mm-hmm. the dudes like put their hand on their hip, and they're like, "Don't touch the glass." <laughs> oh my god. But um. And there's like little kids like putting their face on the glass and the <laughs> dudes like walk over and yell at them <laughs> no the and there's another exhibit this is like the sports part too with all, like Arthur Ashe and like Mar- Mar- uh, Michael Michael Jordan like all different type of sports Jackie Robinson yeah like they have the jersey and everything like that's pretty dope yeah and they have like a whole bunch of football jerseys and stuff like that and helmets and it, it's really cool but um and they have like a music part too like a music exhibit. That's sick. Like they have like like it's but it's only like for like hip hop one. It's like a hip hop one, but it's like a really small room. Yeah. With I like mean, a, it hasn't been around that long. No, but like you know what I mean. Yeah. It was just it's just like oh they have like a hip hop mu- uh, exhibit that's like a small room, but they have a music thing where they have like props from all types of uh, artists. Like they have the mothership from Boosie Collins from his like concert. That's cool. And they have Jimi Hendrix vests. They have, um... You know you can, like, buy Jimi Hendrix, like, worn clothes for not that much? That's crazy. But they have, like, a certain... They have, like, one of his vests and, like, a casing. That's cool. And then they have, like, you know, dresses from, like, Aretha Franklin and stuff. It's just... It was just dope. Because, like, I was just in there. Like, they have... And they have, like, four screens on projectors that show... That are showing, like, videos from, like, different artists and musicians. I was just sitting there li- watching that the whole time. It was it was nice. That's cool. But the food is expensive. <laughs> you know, like, chicken and waffles was almost twenty dollars. <laughs> like, I can make chicken and waffles at home. Yeah. Everything is expensive in DC. Yep. But it was I mean it was nice. Even though it was a brick, because it was up north. <laughs> like it was real cold. I haven't been in DC in like four years, five years. Mm. But last year I went to DC like. Over forty times. Yeah, it's it's in the evenings. Didn't we go one time? Yeah, we, went, we probably went two or three times. No, we went once. Oh, I don't know. I we, can't remember. I went to like every single home game for the Wizards. Yeah, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you have like season tickets or something? Yeah. Yeah, he had he had it the season tickets. This year they sucked. Yeah, sort of. So far. They're like one and six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. I don't know why. Because they don't have a center. Dwight Howard hasn't played yet. Why? Oh, has he hurt or something? Yeah. Wow. He, he hurt his back and he just didn't go on that road trip. And he had like a six game road trip. And, you know. That's He's playing tonight, I think, for the first time. Yeah. Um. I know we already talked about it a little bit, but like followings like people like being fans of somebody like really like being 
like you're dead like sort of like stands yeah like you're dedicated to that one person or artist it's kind of like some people call it like a a cult following or something like that yeah but that's mainly like with that's mainly like with YouTubers and stuff whereas like you know like Jake Paul buy my merch yeah I mean it's with a lot of like musicians and yeah that too like you won't listen to a musician because the one that you like doesn't like them or something yeah so I was super I was like that for like a while and then I kind of opened up my my music part of my brain and just you know let the beat like like r- the rhythm of the song and stuff yeah it's still like separating the, the artist from their art yeah like not you don't have to like agree with everything that the person does just because you like their music yeah like you can like their music but you don't like some of their opinions on things yeah you or know actions or actions yeah so with uh for example I don't know I don't know I don't really have a good example can you think of one I mean X yeah sort of yeah <laughs> I mean I, I it's, it's just like it's people like now that the stuff about him came out a lot of people are like criticizing his fans for like and also, there's, like, two sides of fans. There's, like, ex-fans are, like, it's a, it's, he's still a good person just because he did that. And there's other people who are, like, I don't care about that. I'm just, like, him because of his music. Yeah. Which is, like, what most people are. It's yeah. just, like, or they're not saying that he's, like, that just because they like him and he, like, like, they're not trying to say that he didn't do anything wrong. They're just saying that, like, they're allowed to like him even if he did something wrong. That's not what they're saying they like him for. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, it's just like so-and-so did this thing. And it's like, no, they're, they're still a good person. I know it. They didn't, they, I can't, they can't do nothing wrong in my eyes type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how, like, that. like how, um, how families are, how families are with certain, like, family members. Yeah. Like it was like, you're, I don't know, your crackhead uncle or something stole money from you, and then your mom is just like, or your grandma's like, he's he's still a good boy, but he's, you know, stealing money from you and buying drugs with it. <laughs> That's not good. You have to pay, like, a house rent and, or pay, you know, pay the bills and stuff. How are you going to do that if he's stealing money from you that you need to use yeah. for certain things? I guess no. I don't know. I hate when I hate when stuff is like that. Yeah. Like especially in like m- like movies and TV it's like, shows. It's like uh, it's kind of like when you when like kids are on like a sports team and they give everyone a trophy even if they don't win. Mm-hmm. And it like teaches people that they can like not do as good as they possibly could and still get rewarded for it. I mean, I'm just that. Or just like tell this just like makes people in their mind like not want to try as hard. Well, I mean, it's sometimes that's a, that I be, I think about that a lot sometimes too, like the whole give a per, give everybody a trophy thing. Yeah, because it's when they're like really young, but like yeah, like I feel like I don't know. Like once they're competing. In sports, yeah, once they're actually like, like competing yeah. and stuff like that. If but when they lose and they don't deserve the trophy, but don't when they're give like them a trophy because that defeats the whole purpose of competing against each other. When they're like like little little kid, like when they're like toddlers. Or yeah, something. I played Tyler. baseball in middle school and still got like trophies for losing. And it was like. I was like, I don't even. Yeah, but I have like, this. I have like two sides of that. Like, part of me is just like, yeah, don't do that, because then it's gonna be like everyone's gonna not try at what they want to do. But the other part of me is like, the other part of me is like, you know, ha- having that mindset. Like, ima- like imagining me having a like son and daughter, and they're, that's happening for them, and they're when they're little or something. It's just like, so I don't know. It's just. I mean, I still I wouldn't want my kid to get a trophy if he lost. If he if he's like old Same, enough to know, understand the competition, yeah, and when they, when they're when they're old enough to understand competition, yeah. that's when it's like okay, no, yeah, if, don't get if a trophy. They're in like kindergarten, I don't. Yeah, if they're in kindergarten or something like that, it's just like okay, that's fine. But once they hit like middle school, middle school, or even like fifth grade, elementary school, yeah, yeah, fifth yeah, I grade. Feel like in kindergarten, they don't even care about one, and they're yeah, just having they're fun. yeah, they're just having they're like, fun, acting crazy, not even pay, like pay being a, being a child. <laughs> That's that's what that is, but um. Anyway, back to back to like, you know, cult followers and stuff like that. It's just like 
Um, it's just weird. For it's just like weird for people to have that mentality of just like that artist or person didn't do anything wrong. You know. Yeah. Or like not just with music artists, but like actors and actresses type of thing. You know. I mean. No, yeah, that's like most famous people. Yeah, but it's this whole like. Like, like most famous people have done something wrong that people know about yeah and just they just just sh- forget it shrug it off like it's nothing yeah but like the reason why they're looking at it like that is because they're famous and everybody's yeah. got their attention on them yeah yeah because like there's this whole thing with twitter now where everybody likes to go fo- go to that certain person that's so annoying and go back to like ten their years yeah, ago. ten <laughs> like ten years tweets like, they did that with uh, Brother Nature, the dude that, like, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you don't really pay attention to it. Yeah. But he's, t- Brother Nature's the guy who, like, who's, like, the Steve, like, a Dominican or, the, the like, he's a Spanish version of Steve Irwin. And he's, like, good with, like, all types of animals and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then somebody decided to go back to his tweets from, like, I don't know, high, like, middle school. <laughs> and was, like, it was some... I can, like, people, I can tell he was joking with his tweets, but it was just like, why do y'all do that? And I I'm feel like. I'm glad that I wasn't, like, old enough to tweet stupid yeah. stuff like that when I had a Twitter. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was just like. My people... Twitter from middle school was mm-hmm. me, like, on the bus to school. I hate school. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's fine. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like. But it was just like, people do that. I feel like people do that because they envy that person. Like, that's famous or whatever. You know? Yeah. So like it's not just with him, but the the guy who directed Jam- I think it's James Gunn, the guy who directed the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Like his tweets were kind of worse than Brother Nature. Oh yeah, I was about to say that too. Yeah, he. I mean, his he was joking. Like I dubs yeah. I dubs did a video on him and or jokes in general, and talked about that. And he was just like, he was joking. But some people don't don't take don't think it's a joke, or people don't take it as jokes. Because people like to think take stuff kind of seriously now. Yeah. Or people are kind of... Yeah, those are dope. Are those illegal? Yeah. Hell yeah. They're the filthiest. I like them. I thought they were Yeezys. <laughs> Excuse me. But, um... Yeah, like, people people nowadays are kind of sensitive with jokes like that, so... Like, comedy... Comedy is not... People be tripping nowadays. People yeah. be yeah. looking for, um... Freaking drama and shit to argue about. They yeah. Be, they would look they be for things consciously looking for it. They don't. They that really know. doesn't matter yeah. anyway. Like they be people, sniffing for problems. Or yes. people look for. Or some people look for attention. Yeah. Like the, like the girl that carried her gun, like carried her like assault rifle or whatever to her graduation. What? From, <laughs> what where is this in the bayou? It's, no, it was like it was at Kent State. Like, it was like she's like. Oh my gosh. Like, she, she was like. that some college? Pro, she's like pro gun or whatever, but her name is like Caitlin Bennett or something, and like she did that when she graduated Kent State like a couple of years ago. She just had her sorry for That's over so her shoulder. Stupid. It makes everyone look bad. Yeah, but the thing, that, it, like, it does that supports guns. Like yeah, then ev- then people who like are against guns, they're gonna be like, look at this person who brought their gun to their graduation. People who like guns are so stupid. Yeah, and it's like. Most people who like guns probably will never use their gun. <laughs> yeah, but I think it was like she was like trying to send some type of message at the time where you know, I sorry <laughs> to bring this up, but school shootings was coming like start yeah. not, not, like just not like sort of like was sort of start not start I don't know, you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say like it was like coming like it was starting at it was that's when like stirring up stirring up yeah I don't know I don't know. I'm well, not. Like there's just a bunch around that time. Yeah, it was just a bunch around that yeah. time, and then she just decided to carry her like assault rifle, or whatever, to school or her graduation. That's too. And it was like. What kind of gun was it? I don't even know. I don't know what type of gun. I don't know what the name of guns are, but it just looked like something you carry around in the military. <laughs> and then like, um, yeah, she's just the type of person that looks for attention. So like recently, I don't know why Peter, their dumb selves, did this, but they were like they. They were like, if you drink, you know, cow's milk, you're a white supremacist or something like that. Bro, people are so stupid. And you seen that YouTube video of that girl? It's like a girl with short hair and glasses, but she was like, if you're white, you're automatically racist. If you're straight, you're automatically, uh, 
homophobic, and if you're not transgender, you're automatically transphobic. And I was like, I haven't Dude. seen that. Haven't there are some that. crazy motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah, but like, it's just like, what's up with all these words? Like, <laughs> like get out of here. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I didn't choose to be a straight <laughs> white male. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, but um, yeah, she that happened. Peter sent that that tweet and that link or whatever to look at their article or, or something. And then she decided to make a video. She sent a she replied with a video of her drinking milk. <laughs> and she the was the same girl. Yeah, the same uh-huh. girl, Caitlyn Bennett. And she I was. I would have done that. Though. She was trying to send. She was trying to make it look funny as a joke. Yeah. But nobody else saw it as a joke because how she is as a person. Also, because everyone who follows Peta is like already like, yeah, don't drink the milk. Yeah, but like her, like <laughs> I saw. I forgot who. Um, the dude's name is um. Eddie something on YouTube. It, but he did like a th- video on her the other day, and she just goes back to the ho- she goes back to the college and like after she already graduated and just talks to the students and stuff. Like she did like this whole disguise thing, where it was like um, where you know how they do do, do like a s- celebrity does a um, s- disguise thing yeah. or whatever and then reveals himself. Like she did that, but then it was just like, cause she was like asking people like she was asking people like, what do you think of the the what do you think of Caitlyn Bennett or whatever? Oh and then they were they were they I were actually said, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I said, you who? seen the one when Drake did that? No, he's wearing uh, yes, like a mustache and an yeah. afro, and no. he was like, he it was, was like, a girl, right? Wasn't it some chick? It was a bunch of different people, uh-huh. but this dude, he was like, he was like, what would you do if you saw Drake right now? And he's like, I'll punch him in his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, but um, the dude, the dude's name is uh, Eddie Burback that did the YouTube video. He it, he was talking about that, and then like she um. Like people were actually speaking their minds about her, cause they like, they can tell it was her. She just had like a hat and like some fake pair of glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh that girl, she's stupid. I hate her. No, but one group of dudes, it was a bunch of black dudes, and they were just like, I don't know. I'm not gonna say nothing, cause she might shoot me or something. She's gonna she gonna cap me or something. And then she was like, well, what if I told the dude was like, oh no, it's her. Everybody run. Like he was being legit about it. Like he was being he was being for real about that, and it was just funny. But nah, she it, it, and she it was just her it's her voice, so it's like she tries like you can tell she likes to get attention from annoying people. Yeah, and it's just it was just weird. But yeah, that that ha- that was. Uh, I just if you're gonna do a disguise, do it right. Don't just. I think the last one I saw like that, Machine Gun Kelly was like. Uh, can you tell who I am for Halloween? The dude's like, uh, MCK. He's like, did I nail it? He's like, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, like people are. That's I don't know, so funny. Like, how are people that? And he even know. Like, he's just like, yeah, you look like you did good, man. <laughs> I just watched. I just watched. Uh, like the Uber driver. It's like celebrity Uber drivers, mm-hmm. and they don't even like wear a good disguise. And Shaq was wearing like oh just a fake mustache and a hat he's like seven feet tall and oh he's in this little car and people are getting in there and his head's like on the ceiling and his like shoulders are up there he's like how are you <laughs> and then they're like driving he's like who's your favorite ba- big basketball player <laughs> and no one says Shaq. No, um what's the name dressed up as tribute red for halloween oh eric andre, eric andre. i'm uh, surprised when i saw that I was, I was too, but it's like a future Richard version. Shaq's son dressed up as X. He did? Yeah, he actually looks just like him. That's crazy. Didn't, isn't, isn't, a, isn't, what's his name, Sharif? Uh, it was a different one. Oh. He has like three sons, I think. Yeah. But yeah, Sharif is one of them. Yeah. He, and any the one that, um, can't play basketball for like a long time. Cause yeah, he has surgery. like a back surgery he has to get or something. Yeah. Um, or a heart surgery, actually. Yeah. Luckily, they could afford it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, they got money. Shaq has, like, the most endorsements out of any it. basketball player I've ever seen. <clears throat> Half the commercials. I know. Yeah. Gold ball. Oreo. <laughs> the general. <laughs> oh, he was on Krispy the general. Krispy Kreme. Yeah, do you guys want to talk Icy about... Icy high. You guys want to yeah. talk about, um... You're getting rich, dude. You guys want to talk about, um... Us uploading to YouTube, or... Yeah, we can. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, are we gonna film it? Are we just gonna? No, no we're just gonna. We're just gonna try and like convert the audio. Convert the to audio. To a video with no, with like a still frame. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just so we can like, you know, have yeah, that be multiple platforms. Yeah, instead of just having it on SoundCloud, because 
Yeah, instead of having it on here and everything. That's hard to find stuff on sometimes. That and people have to make an account for it. Yeah, not yeah. everybody has it downloaded on yeah. their phone, so you yeah. can go to like the but Safari. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll work on that. You know, we'll get get editing software and stuff. Not not like some fan, not the fancy stuff, but just something simple. And just have a still frame of one of our pictures that'll fit in the screen, and then upload it to YouTube. And hopefully, it doesn't get demonetized. <laughs> get demonetized. But you know, YouTube. Unless you just take them back. But yeah, I, I want to tell us. Uh, I want to tell y'all about our top three listen like listen to episodes. Yeah. It's um episode one, episode two, and episode six. <laughs> Episode three. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just it's just so episodes. Just getting views in order. We're slowly <laughs> running out of views. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no, but it's it's episodes, episodes six, one, and two. This is backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's backwards. But those are the top ones that I listen to, and I'm surprised. No, no, that makes sense. We have listeners in other countries though. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have listeners in Ireland. That's so weird, dude. Yeah. They're probably all looking for, like, the Three Stooges. <laughs> yeah, the Three Stooges, the actual, the actual, like... The soundtrack. They don't yeah. know what SoundCloud is. <laughs> oh, what's a SoundCloud? Oh, it's a toy, it's a toy, it's a toy. All right, I'm sorry. Okay. People from Ireland. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Don't. They just stopped listening to us. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I apologize. But, um... Oh, yeah. Um... I'm gonna shout out, uh... Uh... Fo- uh... An Instagram follower. I can't talk. <clears throat> but... He's an uh, he's an artist that you know he he draws and he his 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 art he turns them into stickers. Oh yeah, I follow him. His name is his name is. It's huh? It's his his name is Rashad, but his Instagrams are Shad or Shad stick Shad stickers and Shad <laughs> sketches. I can't talk. I don't know why I can't talk. What is this movie? It's Beverly Hills Cop. You haven't heard of Beverly Hills Cop. I've seen it. Like, I've seen it I've seen all of them. Don't watch it. And I, I'm not talking like in a fan way, but like in a not an ironic way, but just I whenever it's not on TV, I just sit there and watch like the whole. It looks kind of good though. It's good. It's funny. <clears throat> but um, yeah. Shout out to him. Shout out to Shad's Shad sketches and Shad stickers. I had I bought one of his stickers. They're like three dollars or five dollars for a yeah. sticker. But yeah. They're sick. Um, we're gonna wrap up the episode now, so I mean, you know, it's the end of the episode. You know, donate to our Patreon or join our Patreon. Um, you know, we 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 start we're gonna start doing promotions. If you know, y'all want to promote, if you want to get promotions, we only promote for a fee. Yeah, a fee. <laughs> Didn't Cardi B say that or something? Yeah, like, I don't know. She's like, now we're only promote for a fee. Oh, we need to talk about that, but we need to talk about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. No, it wasn't Cardi B. It was some Malone's Crocs. No. No. Yesterday, Post Malone dropped these Crocs collab, mm-hmm. and they sold out instantly for like 50 bucks, and now they're like $600. Damn. Mm. That would have been dope. They I had like, like a I bunch of the little, right uh, they had a bunch of the little like yellow baby face with the devil horns from... Oh, that's kind of cool. That's crazy. And then they had like custom little buttons like on. Damn. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up the podcast. Um, like I said, you know, donate to our Patreon to join our Patreon. Uh, it's five dollars for a SoundCloud promotion or any other type of promotion you want. Um, what else? You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow him on Instagram. Um, and that's it. I'm Traven. I'm Christian. Henry.